it's time to open up our wizard's vault from Vippity Boppity Boxes. Let's get into this box. Hey there, welcome to Over the Moony. My name is Katie, and whether you are a new or returning friend, thank you so, so much for being here today. I appreciate it so much. If you are new and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would absolutely love if you would hit that subscribe button down below. I post new videos on my channel every single week, and I would love it if you would become a part of our little corner of the internet. So I am super, super excited to be opening up our Wizards Vault Box. I am excited that it is actually cold enough out Side for me to even wear a scarf and long sleeves and it is wonderful. One thing I'm not super excited about though is my post office because this is how my box came. I don't know if you guys can really tell as much but it is pretty much like smashed in. Like there's a hole in my box. So John actually opened this for me. He sent me a text when it arrived and asked if I wanted him to open it to make sure that everything was still inside because it was even worse when he came home. Like there was just a giant hole and you could actually like see into the box. So he, I think someone must have just like stepped on it. I don't know. I don't know how these things happen, but apparently everything is intact. He said everything matches the packing slip, so we are good to go for that, which is great. So things did get shifted around because John already opened it. I'm sure he tried to put it back as best he could, but at this point I just cared to make sure that everything was as it should be in here. So before we do open it and get inside, I just wanted to remind you guys that I am a rep for Bippity Boppity Boxes, which means that if you use my promo code over the Mooney, you can save $7 off your very first Wizard's Vault box, which is so exciting. So definitely take advantage of that because I've had so much fun with these boxes and I cannot wait to see what is inside this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get in. Let's see what's inside. So we do have our packing slip, which John taped back together for me so it wouldn't be unraveled so I'm going to set that off to the side and it is a little bit disheveled in here uh, because he's already gone through but when I opened it this is what I saw it is black tissue paper with the Gringotts vault sticker on top to hold everything together so I'm going to go ahead and fish around I like to try to do one item at a time as best as I can so I'm feeling an item here I'm going to pull this out Ooh. <gasps> This looks like a wand box. It is a wand box. So this is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Ooh, I can see whose wand it is and I'm super excited. I actually have a very small collection of wands. I don't have a ton. I only have three official wands, I think. So I have Lupin's wand. I have a just a generic like Death Eater wand that I picked up at Universal Studios when I was down there or actually I got that as a gift before I went to Universal Studios and then I have Lucius Malfoy's wand slash walking stick because it is amazing so those are the only three that I own so I'm very excited to be adding another wand to my collection so this does come with a little map of Hogsmeade and Diagon Alley, so you can take a look on here to see what interactive stations there are and what um, what spells you need to cast in order to get the interactive elements to work with you. It's so pretty! Oh my goodness. Alright, oh wow, this is hefty too. So we got Draco Malfoy's wand. I love the Malfoy family so much. I am a Slytherin in case you can't tell. I love snide characters, which is why I like Snape so much, which is why I like Lucius so much. I love the snide little snarky characters. And of course Draco is a snide and snarky character. <laughs> so I do enjoy him, but I enjoy the character arc of all three of them. I think that they are very interesting characters, and to see kind of how they end up in the end I thought was interesting also. So I am happy to add this wand to my collection. So it does look like it is about, it is two-toned, so we do have a darker handle down here, um, and then a lighter wood grain up at the top. And this is like, it's very simple, but it's very effective, and... I really like this. Yay! <gasps> Ooh. Wow. This is exciting. 
Okay, so I'm pulling out a Lillian and Co. box. I love Lillian and Co. If you are not familiar with Lillian and Co., they are a small shop. They do bracelets but like that, like cuff bracelets. They do necklaces and they're all fandom based for the most part. So they do a lot of Disney, Harry Potter, and they're stamped, I think is what they are. They're kind of like stamped. And so they'll have different sayings on them from different franchises. So I have a, let's see, I already have a necklace from them that says Dreamer on it. And I have a bracelet that says it's kind of fun to do the impossible, which is a Walt Disney quote. Now I have a third one to add to my collection. So let's see what this is and so they do come in oh, okay they do come in a nice little pouch and can't go wrong with this we got the bracelet that says always on it and of course if you are a Harry Potter fan you know all about always and what it signifies and I know that there are people who are Team Snape and people who are not Team Snape. I happen to be Team Snape so this could have uh, different feelings for you depending on what part of the team you fall on but I love Snape so I am very very happy to have this and then usually on the bottom it'll kind of talk about a little bit about the bangle that you get and it just says down on the bottom here it says after all this time always right so i mean that in itself was a lot so i wouldn't be surprised if there was those are the only two items in it somehow it's not okay um cool so ooh. Oh my god obsessed yay so I got a pin and I do have a very small Harry Potter pin collection um, most of the pins that I have are from the loot crate box they did a whole Horcrux pin collection which was why the only reason why I stuck out with that box as long as I did was because I just wanted to complete that collection but this is beautiful so this is from a company called candle babe and it is the Deathly Hollow symbol, but it has Hogwarts in the middle of it. And it is also kind of like hollow, iridescent-ish. Like it definitely has a color shift to it. And it's super, super pretty. This is really nice. I like this a lot. And I've never heard of this small shop before, which I love once again, because Bibbidi Boppity Boxes, of course, works with small shops. So you really get to discover some shops that you may not have ever heard of before. So this is one of those shops and I'm obsessed with this pin. I think it's so, so beautiful. I cannot wait to put it on my Harry Potter pin board. <laughs> we have one last item, which again, I love, and it is a Slytherin hat. It is gray. It has one of the kind of like sliding clasps in the back and what I actually really like about this hat is that it feels like it's made of like exercise clothes material if that makes any sense like the um, moisture wicking material so this will be perfect for working out when I go out for walks or anything because my head gets very very sweaty <laughs> if I'm working out um, or just like in the sun if the sun is beating down on my head like I just get super super sweaty This is super cute. Oh, I really like this a lot Hmm. I might wear this actually to our Harry not sorry not Harry Potter totally not affiliated with Harry Potter at all festival I really like that a lot. That's super super cute Got my school pride going on you guys Slytherin hat Slytherin scarf. I am ready to go back to Hogwarts. I know that I've missed that by a long shot, but oh, I really like this. So yay. I think that that is everything in the box. I'm going to double check through the box and then we'll take a look at the packing slip and see what the value of everything was. Okay. So yes, it does look like that was everything in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at our packing slip. So we have the Castle Babe Co. Fantasy Pin Night Slash Day Collection, Hollows Night. That is a $12.50 value. We have the Ollivander's Wand Shop 
collectible wand, which is the Draco wand, which is a $46 value. We have a Lillian & Co. Bengal Wizard inspired gold always bracelet, which is a $32 value, and the Harry Potter gray Slytherin hat, which is $19.99 in value for a total retail value of $110.49. That is amazing. That's such a great value. So yay, yay, yay. I'm so, so thrilled. I loved this box so much. It had so many great high-end items in it, which I thought was fabulous. I can't wait to add my Draco wand to my little wand collection, my very modest wand collection. Yeah, I'm really, really excited for all of these things. They're all like perfect, small little items that are wonderful for day to day. So yay thank you ladies i'm so so happy with this box and i did just want to mention because i did have some people commenting on my last video about you know there are a lot of other boxes that are out there and everything and i understand that i'm very well aware that there are a lot of other boxes that are out there but what i guess what i meant to say and that maybe i just didn't enunciate well enough was that there are not customizable boxes that are available to my knowledge at all. So for me, the difference is finding a random stranger on the street saying, here's X amount of dollars. I like Harry Potter, go buy me things. Versus this box doing, hey, random stranger on the street, here's $50 or however many dollars and a list of things that I love about Harry Potter go buy me things. You know, the, usually the only thing that you can really customize is the house that you're in. And you know, I know a lot of people are like, well, geek gear is a great box, geek gear this, geek gear that. And like, if you like geek gear, super duper awesome. I'm happy for you. For me, A, it's overseas, so I'm spending a lot of money to get something shipped internationally plus the conversion rate is constantly changing between pounds and dollars i think usually the pound is greater than the dollar so i'm spending a lot more money on it and i'm not getting stuff that i specifically would like it's just general harry potter things and i was subscribed to geek gear for a long time probably a year year and a half and then i was like you know what i'm just really not happy with this box i'm not getting stuff that I really like. So I think that for me, now that I can articulate it a little bit better, that's what I particularly love about this box is that you have that opportunity to say, this is my favorite movie. This is my favorite book. These are my favorite characters. This is my favorite kind of merchandise. More than just, I'm a Slytherin and I like Harry Potter. You get to elaborate more. You can actually like collaborate with the girls. They're very open to communication and trying to work out like a theme for your box if that's something that you would be interested in. So, I mean, you can have like a Death Eater themed box or like a Hogwarts classes themed box or something like that. Like you can definitely do a lot more with this box than you can with other boxes. So hopefully that makes sense a little bit more since I was able to explain myself, but just throwing it out there to those of you who you know were very very much disagreeing with me on my last box which is completely fine we all have opinions we all have preferences and that's why there's various products to choose from but for me what I prefer this box fits that for me so yay 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 I got great things I love everything I love my bracelet I'll be wearing it often and I love it all. So that is everything that I have for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up if you did. And if you enjoy watching unboxings of the Wizard's Vault box, I will leave a link to all of the ones that I've done so far down below, as well as all of my Bippity Boppity boxes. I have a whole playlist full of them. So if you just want to go ahead and just binge all of their boxes that I've gotten, then you definitely can do that and I think it would be a fun way to spend an afternoon. If you have not subscribed yet, I would absolutely love it if you would before you head out the door and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!